So I wanted to talk to you guys. I filmed a video yesterday about my uh, tail just going crazy. And I uh, had a little bit of a skid bounce. Um, I went ahead and I checked everything. Torque tube, torque tube bearings, all the way to the ball links. All the way, you know, to the thrust bearings, different tail blades. I mean, I tried it all. Torque tube gears, front, rear, and uh, nothing seemed to fix it. Also, I changed the mounting tape on the, the Beast X. Um, last night, I was just kind of screwing around, and uh, I was moving the wires up and down. What I noticed is the actual board the electronic board in between the metal and the plastic was moving so i could actually take these cords and move them around and as i did that the tail servo was going crazy so this unit is about seven years old i mean it's been through countless crashes um so what I did is, I'm, I'm not a fan of hot glue because it's a pain in the butt to get off, especially when you glue your, uh, your servos into the unit. So what I did is I pushed um, all the servos as far in as I could to the unit. I ran a bead of hot glue from the servo lead all the way up onto the unit. And then I ran a bead down the side to connect the metal box to the plastic. And then I tried to get a little underneath here as well too. So basically now when I move these wires, it's one solid piece. There's no play whatsoever. So I am on my second flight and it is smooth as butter. No vibrations, no tail kick. I can up the gain again. So that was the problem. I guess the uh, the electronic board inside got loose and it was rattling around, causing all kinds of crazy things. Um, the skid bounce could have been because um, the cyclic servos were bouncing around too, so it didn't know how to correct. And then uh, obviously the tail was out of whack because it was bouncing around um, as well. So anyway, it's not pretty. And it's going to be a pain in the butt when I want to take it apart. But as is right now, it's flying completely amazing. Super locked in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, up the cyclic gain again and... Uh, get it more of a robotic feel like I like and uh, hopefully that's the fix so if you guys got an AR7200 BX um, come on down grab your wires move them up and down and uh, you'll notice if you got play inside that board um, I could actually see like a little less than a sixteenth of an inch gap between the plastic in the metal when I was wiggling it up and down. I think it's just due to it being old. Um, this uh, Micro Beast has been on probably seven different models and I can't even tell you how many crashes. So, um, so far so good. It appears to be working. So hopefully that was the problem and it's, uh, you know, nothing any worse. Um, kind of a bummer. I wasted all my time. Um, you know working on the tail section and stuff but actually it's not a waste of time because all that stuff should be checked anyway um i could have find a you know i could have found a major issue somewhere along the lines so if you guys are having weird behavior with the 7200 bx um i'm not sure about the uh the micro beast plus hd but um, as far as I know, it's set up the same way. It's got a metal bottom and a plastic top. So <clears throat> after you work those uh, servos in and out quite a few times, I could see the board inside getting loose. So just keep an eye out for that. I think I got it fixed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fly another half gallon, and then uh, I'm completely out of fuel. I got some on the way, so um, I'm going to go ahead and beat on it. I'm going to... Um, film a couple flights and uh, take
take a good look at the tail. So, okay. Um, to all you guys who uh, responded to my video um, about the tail deal, um, I appreciate it. It gave me a lot of info on where to look and where to start. So, um, thanks guys. And that's what Facebook's all about. And that's why our hobby is so great because we're all here to help.